My name's Sandra Banbury. My house here is in the gas fields north of Tara. We have been away for 18 months. We moved the children out because they were getting that sick. We couldn't bear for them to be here. But unfortunately, the money was run out and we just literally can't afford to be running two houses and having the family separated. So we've basically had no choice but to bring them back here. It's been a bit over three weeks that we've been back. I've had one kid in hospital already, another one with big black panda eyes and puffy faces and just both of them sleeping during the day where they never have before and the effect was basically immediately on them and quite terrifying how quickly it happened and heartbreaking because we keep getting told that it's safe here. born and bred in the New England. We have been forced to move our children back here from our home in Tara, Queensland. Without us knowing, a gas field had surrounded us. Over 25 gas wells within a seven kilometre radius of our home. We have tests that show contamination of our air and our water with lead levels too high for the kids' safety. Yet even with proof, we are being ignored by government at all levels. We are tired of this nightmare. We have done everything possible to get help. My husband is a shearer and we have worked hard to get our land. What will you do to help the little people like us get the new beginnings we deserve? Why don't we, Joyce, we'll start with you. Well, Sandra, um, I'm very aware of the, the issues that surround Tara and I know that the fight that the people of Tara have had uh, to try and make sure that they get treated justly. It's been, I think it was back in June that I was able to go on Q&A and had the opportunity to put a question to the panel that night in Tamworth, including Barnaby Joyce, who is the Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, the Leader of the National Party, the Minister for Agriculture and the Minister for Water. He basically told me straight up, even though we had the proof of the lead contamination, that he's going to do nothing, absolutely nothing. On the show, he actually said, we are well aware of the problems at Tara. They are aware that there's problems out here. They're aware that people are completely stressed and, you know, just pushed to the max. But they just refuse to do anything. They don't want to do anything because the moment they do do something, then they've got to admit there's a problem and they can't go frack your backyard. Basically, we're just like a sacrifice zone. 